Grams. Ilad Suman, 78, that should say. They did give him a one kilogram weight advantage, as they do in Muay Thai. If they'll believe it will um, even things up just a little bit, then they'll do that, no problem. Last time we saw an Israeli fighter on Thai fight was in Thai fight Lampang. Max Branis. Oh, there. Doing, doing That's very right. well against Sanchai. Yeah, he did. Oof, right hand coming in there from Suman. Low kicks coming in from the kicker. Oh, he just walked oh. into two left hands there. Left himself exposed, Suman. That's something you don't want to do against Deng Nung. Definitely not. Swinging hands again there from Eli. Left hand to the body. And to the hit face oh, by Deng Nung. This has the making of a great fight. Oh, my it's goodness. Body shot. That left hand always prime. A lot of shots coming in from Suman. All the heavy shots as well. Left high kick there from Deng Nung. Swinging right hand. Coming back in from Elad. Another elbow. Back and forth action. You've got to love this. Fair to say though, the more accurate shots are definitely coming from Deng Nung. Correct. Elad though taking Deng Nung's shots like a champ. Elad really bringing the fire though in this fight. And he looks very confident on his way to the ring as well. And backstage. Back to the center of the ring they go. Fighters don't want to move backwards. Body shot there. By Deng Nung, who then takes down Eli. That'll slow you down just a little bit. No, for sure. Deng Nung landing on top, and that's definitely going to give him the advantage. Low kick there coming in from Eli. Oh, swing and a miss there from Deng Nung. Eli saw that coming off a mile away. What we've seen from Deng Nung in the past, the fights have been quite equal, but then. In the second round or later on in the fight, Tim seems to figure out his opponent very fast. True. But can he figure out Ilad? Very unorthodox style. But really having success with those low kicks. Real firefight in this one. So much aggression being showed here from both fighters. Oh, put body shot there. And Ilad almost walked into that one. He's done so far this fight was walking into that left hand early on in the, in, in the fight, but he learned very fast. Oh! Got Deng Nung with an elbow there, but here comes Deng Nung once again. Swinging that left hand, and there's that left kick. Deep breaths here from both fighters, I think. And it's only the first round. Yeah, they've hit the acceleration pedal right from the start here. I feel as if we've seen it all, all already, but two more rounds to come. Potentially two more rounds. Oh, yes. I think he's just uh, taking a breathe here. Eli moving forward. End of round one. Great fight. Stay with us for round two here at Thai Fight. Who are in? First round that was. Eli, he came out swinging. And then that was the difference maker. That's what sort of took the tide. Still, everything to go for in the second round. No, he's not at all. Oh, left kick to the body. And a beautiful team to follow that up. Great technique there. Going up high that time. There's also a bonus on offer from Chang that you can connect to knock out your opponent with a spinning back kick. To the head. To the head, yes. <laughs> Not an easy thing. We can never leave that part out. Beautiful body kicks there coming in for Chang Nung. Huge yeah. left hand from Ilha Do. Ilha just giving you this corner for some advice. Chang Nung, not a very easy opponent to figure out. Yeah, not being as aggressive. Well, he's being very careful because he knows exactly what level Eli 
one is, is on. Eli looking good in there. Oh, definitely. Oh, but a huge left hand coming in from Tingnan. There, that kick to the body again. Once again, but that's been the problem for Eli so far in this round, and that's, that's the left kick. I'm not sure how many times he's connected with it already, but Eli needs to find some, some way to block it once again. Yeah, you can see the markings on the body of Elad on that right side where he's been eating the kicks of Dengnum. It's fair to say, um, I'm not sure who kicked the hardest in Type 5, but Dengnum's probably up there. Yeah, it's very underrated kicks because obviously we see a lot of the punches, a lot of punch knockouts from the boy. You've even seen him, uh, see the boy, he's 30 years old now. We've even seen him hit the referee as well. <laughs> That's true! Knock out the referee all <laughs> Dengnum definitely picking his shots in this round. And especially that left kick to the body shot. Much more reluctant Dengnum than the use of Oh, and again, Eli just cannot block it. You can see the arm is now down right by the side. Is there an opportunity for Dengnum to throw that left high kick? I mean, just as dangerous as his left kick is. You have to be careful with that left hook as well. Indeed. And if round two, stay with us. There we can see the second round. More cautious, Dengnung, but he was able to blast that left kick to the body of Vilad, and again, I feel like in the eyes of the judges, that is going to be the difference maker. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's fair to say that the Israeli fighter needs to find a way to block those left kicks. Just eats away too. All that as well. Third and final round. It's easier said than done, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, solid hands coming in there from both fighters. What Stinking left hand from Dengnung. I want to say what we saw from the first round. Elad coming in hard and Tengnung countering, but so far some really heavy shots coming in from the Israeli fighter. Yeah, and that's beautiful strikes here. It was the left hand versus, or the right hand versus the left kicks of Tengnung. Solid shots there coming in from Elad. Good elbow there from Elad once again. Elad showing himself to be really durable. Elad still pushing forward, Tengnung on the back foot. Trying to knee his head there. <laughs> and on another day, he would have reached him. He's giving everything. He's, he's trying to leave everything out there as well. That's better. Good beautiful, block there. Beautiful block there from Elad. I bet you he wish he did more of the same than that in, 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 in the second round. Like moving forward again. The left kick though, on target for Tengden. Three knees in a row for Hilad. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that Hilad might be winning this round here. Did a very good job. Oh, left high kick there from Dengnung. I'm not sure where that connected. Pushing forward, he's going to have to pick his shots just a little bit cleaner. The celebrations if he manages to get a knockout. Oh, really not often that we see Tingnan on the back foot. No, not at all. Even if he's very comfortable with his performance, he tries to go for the knockout. Very different Tingnan that we're seeing today. Good kick once again for Tingnan. kick there from Dengnun. Oh, stunning jumping knee there from the tie. I don't know if I've ever seen that from Dengnun before. <laughs> no, I have not. He keeps surprising us with some of his, his attacks. Once upon a time we say, we never see Dengnun knock out somebody with a head kick. End because of the third and final round. I think an exhausting fight for both fighters. A very entertaining fight for us. I have to agree with you completely on that one. I think we found s someone with a very, very, a uh, lot of potential in Ulad Ilad Suman to go the full distance, but it was very good. Highlights of the, all the rounds, I believe. Oh. That was early on in the, in the third round.
We had a lot of that in the third round, didn't we, when we were coming together? Have some fatigue setting in from both fighters. But yeah, Elad did well. One to keep an eye on for the future, for sure. Without a shadow of a doubt, extra performance there from Elad Subban, and I definitely want to see him back on tight fight. All right, stay with us. Fox and Chai. เอาละครับคะแนนมาแล้วนะฮะอย่าลืมผมผมจะประกาศเลยนะฮะและผู้ชนะนะครับ